I'm Saud and in this video we shall convert a context free grammar into grayback normal form. So we shall do CFG to GNS. Now in grayback normal form all the productions are of the type a symbol produces a terminal or a symbol produces a terminal followed by a string of symbols. So in every single production we have a terminal in the beginning and we may or may not have a single symbol or many symbols following the terminal. Next we shall see the steps that we need to take and then we shall solve an example. We need to follow four steps. Before you begin, make sure that the grammar does not contain null productions, unit productions or useless symbols. The first step is we name all the variables with a1, a2, a3 and so on. So if you have something like s produces a, rename s with a1 and rename a with a2. Next step is for every single production of the type ai produces aj something make sure that i is always less than equal to j if it is not then modify the production to make i less than equal to j next step is remove left recursion in all the productions we shall discuss this in a moment the last step is get everything in gnf form Productions of the type A produces A alpha contain left recursion. The symbol on the left hand side is the first symbol on the right hand side. I can write this as A produces. In place of this A I can write A alpha and I'll bring this alpha as it is. And we can keep writing this. We'll get something like A the alpha will be repeated many times. Let's see how to remove left recursion. We'll take an example. Let's say A produces A and then terminal A as well as terminal B as well as terminal C. This will be converted into two productions. A produces something and we'll take another symbol. Let's say B. It produces something. Now for the productions of A, ignore the starting production and bring down the other two productions. So we'll have B as well as C and for B bring down the first production. So symbol A and terminal A. Next write the same productions again, make them followed by B, by the symbol B. So we'll write B, terminal B with the symbol B and then we shall write the terminal C with the symbol B. And over here we shall write symbol A, terminal A and then followed by B. This is how we remove left recursion. So what we did is for the productions of A, we ignored the first production of A and then we got down the other two productions and then we joined a B at the end of the productions. And then for the productions of B, we got down the first production and then we joined it with a B. This was how to remove left recursion. Now we shall take an actual example to convert CFG into GNF. So let's say we have S produces AA as well as terminal A and A produces SS as well as terminal B. Now this grammar is already in a simplified form. It does not contain null productions, it does not contain unit productions and it does not contain useless symbols. Our first step is rename S with A1 and rename A with A2. I'll write the productions again. So in place of S I shall have A1. So A1 produces A2 A2 as well as A and A2 produces A1 A1 
as well as terminal B. Now my next step is I should be less than or equal to J. Now over here 1 is less than 2 so there is nothing wrong with this but over here 2 is not less than or equal to 1 so we will have to change this. I shall write these productions again over here. So I have A1 produces A2 A2 as well as terminal A and A2 produces A1 A1 as well as terminal B Now we will replace the first A1 over here with A2 A2 as well as terminal A So write this progression again A2 produces in place of A1 I shall have A2 A2 so A2 A2 and then A1 next I shall replace this first A1 with terminal A so I will have A A1 and I will bring this terminal B as it is so now this is proper and this is proper our next step is to remove left recursion now there is no left recursion in this so there is nothing wrong over here but there is left recursion over here the symbol on the left hand side it is starting symbol on the right hand side so in place of A2 we will have two symbols A2 and let's say B2 now over here I shall write I shall ignore the first production and I shall write down these two productions so I'll have A A1 as well as terminal as well as B and I shall again write these productions and I'll follow them with B2 and I'll have B B2 next for B2 I shall write the first production now I'll again write it and I'll follow it with B2 We've eliminated left recursion. Now our last step is we have to convert everything into GNF. So we have, we have to convert these three steps in GNF. We'll do that on a new slide. I shall write all the productions that we had obtained so far. These were the productions that we had obtained. Now for a production to be in GNF, a symbol produces a terminal or else a symbol produces a terminal followed by a string of symbols so we shall check all these productions a1 produces a2 a2 two symbols so this is not in GNF then a1 produces terminal A this is in GNF then for a2 a2 produces a terminal A and then a symbol so this is in GNF and a2 produces terminal B even this is in GNF a2 produces terminal A and then symbols A1, B2, so even this is in GNF next A2 produces terminal B and symbol B2 so even this is in GNF next for B2 both the productions start with a symbol so both of them are not in GNF so we need to convert this this and this into GNF so let's see how we do it we'll replace these A2's over here with all the productions of A2 I'll do it for A1 now so A1 produces instead of this A2 over here I shall have all the productions of A2 so we'll have A A1 and then this A2 over here shall come down as it is then we'll have this B over here followed by this A2 then we'll have A, A1, B2 and then again it is followed by this A2 
then we have BB2 terminal B and symbol B2 and then it is followed by this A2 and finally this terminal A will be at the end so now all these productions are in GNF all the productions of A2 are in GNF similarly we can get all the productions of B2 in GNF we have to replace this A2 over here and this A2 over here with all the productions of A2 Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps you.